The AI world is changing fast and the old paywall model is dying. Everyone wants powerful AI without installs, logins or limits. So today we're looking at GLM 4.7, a model that runs free and unlimited in your browser. No setup, no downloads, no worrying about message caps. We'll test reasoning, coding, speed, life. If you want AI that works every time with zero friction, this one's worth knowing. And now on this website, we can see here that they released also the changelog on 22nd of December. So GLM 4.7 advancing the coding capability. And right now you can see that it's apparently a new coding partner. It has core coding, vibe coding skills, tool using, as well as complex reasoning. And if we scroll here down below, we can see some of the evaluation metrics for this model. Specifically, if we take a look here at this bench score, where the GLM 4.7 is actually the first, even better better than the Anathropic as well as ChatGPT. So I think that this is completely reasonable. So the free open source model is absolutely crushing here, the Anathropic as well as ChatGPT. And if we go here down below further to see the benchmark performance, we can also see here GLM 4.7. And here on top, we will see pretty much the metrics. And I think it ranks up pretty well here compared to the other models, as well as here to the older version of the same model, GLM and I'm 4.6. Now here down below, we can also scroll down to see the applications of this model, like the case. And we can see here, for example, web development portfolio website. So for example, you can see the work here and also the pictures and also down below the links. And if we scroll here down below, we can also see the games which can actually create. So for example, we can click here on new garden layout and it will change the layout for us. And then we have toggle rotation. So for example, we can rotate it for us as well. So this is what you can actually create with this model. So GLM 4.7. And then we have here the poster showcases. So pretty much you can also see here that it has some really good posters here. And then here down below, we can see that it can create also slides and they are looking absolutely wonderful as you can see. Now, right now, let me show you guys how to use this model completely for free. And in my opinion, there are actually two options. Now, the first one is right here on the chat.z.ai. And on this platform, you can pretty much use this model completely for free. So GLM 4.7, as you can see, most advanced model and it's currently new. And then here down below, of course, we have the older models as well. However, there is also another platform which you can use this model on. It's called alamarina.ai. And if you click here on top to direct chat, so make sure that you have here direct chat selected, you can click here to select and search models. And here, if you search for GLM, you will see here a ton of the GLM models. And this one is the latest. So GLM 4.7. And with this one, for example, you can create images, you can go web searching, you can build apps and websites. So right now, let me ask here, GLM 4.7, build me a web OS running in the browser similar to Linux. And now if we click here, it will start to do exactly this. You can see here that it started to think and we can also try the same thing on this platform as well. So chat.z.ai. Now, if I go here, click on paste and then we can go here, write code. And now we can just click here on send message and we can just wait for a few seconds. And now we finally got here the result and we can see here the thought process behind this web application. And down below, we also have here the index.html. Now here on the right, we can see the preview here. I can here resize or drag this terminal window. Now, if you want, you can also open it here in your next tab. You can just simply click here, open website, and this will open this website in your new tab. You can see here also how it's uh, turning on. And then here we have the terminal window. We can click here on the start button, as you can see. We have the settings, we have the restart button, notepad. So we can, for example, write in a notepad something, resize the windows, hopefully, or this unfortunately wasn't added here. And then we have the file manager. As you can see, it works super well. And overall, you can see here that it did a quite a good job here creating this web OS. Now, let me show you how you guys can also save this to your computer. So if you are happy with the result, you can just right click here and then select here, save page as, and make sure to save it as the HTML file. And here I'm going to call it index.html. So just like this, and then you can also open this index file on your computer or inside the 
IDE and edit your code however you want. So pretty much this worked really, really nicely. Unfortunately, this one on the Ella Marina crashed. As you can see, something went wrong with the response. So please try again. And we can try even one more thing here on the Z.AI. And this is by animating the SVG file. So if we go here, we can go to the new chat. So we can click here on a new chat just like this. And then here I will ask here the GLM 4.7 animate SVJ off an elephant. So just like this, animate the SVJ an elephant. We can click here on send message and just wait for a few seconds until this is complete. You can also see here that it started to think. So here's a thinking process that leads to the suggested HTML, CSS and JS solution. And it right now started to actually do its thing. So we can just wait here for a few seconds. And meanwhile, this is actually doing its thing. Let me also show you if you don't want to use it here on side the browser that you can also install this model completely for free on your computer. And how can you do that? You will have to go here to this GitHub link, which I will put in the video description down below. And if we scroll here down below, as I said, I talked about this previously in the video. And if we go here down below, we can see all of the version releases. So 4.5, 4.6, 4.7. And then here you have model downloads option. You can click, for example, hugging face one, and you will be redirected here to this website where you will have to download this model. And how can you do that? You can just simply click here, use this model. And then here you can click, for example, hugging chat, Google collab, or even deploy it to any of these services right here. And to install it on your computer, pretty much, you will have to go here down below where you can use Docker, you can use sglang, and also the transformers. And then you will have to launch all of these commands on your computer to actually use it on your PC. Now, down below here, you have also some of the system requirements. For example, if you have NVIDIA GPUs, you will have to, for example, use all of these specific options here for specifically NVIDIA GPUs. However, you can here go down below and also use the AMD as well. So if we go here up to run inference on AMD GPUs, you can see here AMD GPU deployment guide and here it pretty much is. And you will have to follow carefully these steps to get this model running on your computer. And now here we have this SVJ elephant animation. Now, if I click here to open in a new tab, we can also see this preview in a full screen. So for example, we can toggle here walk and you can see how it's walking this elephant toggle ears. You can see that the ears are also starting to move toggle trunk feed me option as well. And then here we can also change the skin, for example, to whatever we like. For example, we can make it red completely. So overall, I'm quite happy here with the result with the SVJ animation. Of course, the walking here could be better. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm quite happy and surprised that this free model can actually do this. Now, to save this on your computer, you will just right click here on the website, click on save page as and make sure that you have here the ending with the HTML and this will save this image or this website to your computer and then you can as I said before open it in the IDE and uh, do your own thing with its code. So yeah this is pretty much this model so GLM 4.7 it can do many of the things which are absolutely insane and I will leave a link for it in the video description down below as well as if you want to install it on your computer I will also put a link for their github in the video description down below as well. If you if you enjoyed this video make sure that you drop a like down below subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and uh, i will see you all around in the next one